going to show an example today of an auger that we use that is a screw type earth auger manufactured by Infinity Group out of Texas. Um, it comes with an auger, a collar, and a spacer that will adapt uh, down a few sizes on the pole. This is a two inch pole that we're using. Um, what we're doing is showing this on the bench because it's a little hard to see when you're putting it in, in the field. But uh, basically we tighten everything together and what we end up with is a very tight seal around the pole that doesn't allow for a lot of movement uh, between the pole and the auger. So this pole is going to be supporting a large solar panel with a battery enclosure and is designed to support IR lights on a beach. So what we'll do is we'll go out and we'll find a suitable location to plant the auger. Um, we use a, just a ratcheting system with a couple extensions on it um, and we level this thing up as we go. So it's a little bit tough but once once we get through a couple of these it, our team sort of understands the intricacies of leveling this thing out um, as it's moving down into the ground. So it is possible. Um, we ensure that as we're going down we, we go as deep as we can so that we can get a full 1500 pounds of vertical lift which is the rating by the manufacturer in this type of soil and um, it does take just about all your strength to get this thing into the ground. So once we've got that in we will then stand the pole up before we put the equipment on it. So we'll stand the pole up um, with the collar and spacer in place and uh, screw everything down and we end up with this and it is very solid. Um, we've been through several storms with these types of units, um, 30, 40 mile an hour winds. They do hold up really, really well, especially with the batteries at the bottom to, as ballast. And we can get you these units today from Coastal Comms.